Hi, in this video we'll be talking about LPS or the lipopolysaccharide. Let's get started. LPS is unique to gram-negative bacteria, and this means that you can find LPS only in gram-negative bacteria. At the base here, we have the plasma membrane, which is composed of phospholipids and has proteins embedded within it. And the plasma membrane regulates what can enter and exit the cell. Surrounding the plasma membrane is the cell wall. And the cell wall of the gram-negative bacteria is composed of thin layer of peptidoglycan and an outer membrane. The thin layer of peptidoglycan is attached to the outer membrane via lipoproteins, which are represented in blue. In addition to the lipoproteins, the outer membrane consists of porins and LPS. Porins are protein channels that allow nutrients to pass through, and LPS, which is the subject of this video, is what we're going to be talking more about. And lastly, the space between the outer membrane and the plasma membrane is known as the periplasm. And this is where we find the thin layer of peptidoglycan. LPS functions to provide extra or added rigidity to the cell wall of the gram-negative bacteria. LPS has three parts, the lipid A portion, the core polysaccharide, and the O antigen. Let's start by first talking about the lipid A portion. The lipid A portion of LPS is hydrophobic, which allows it to be embedded in the outer membrane. When gram-negative bacteria die, they release their lipid A, which functions as an endotoxin. So the lipid A causes symptoms like fever, blood clotting, weakness, and shock. And because of this lipid A portion, we consider LPS as a whole to be an endotoxin. Now let's move on to talk about the next part of LPS, which is the core polysaccharide. Attached to the lipid A is the core polysaccharide, and what this does is it provides stability. Extending out from the core polysaccharide is the O polysaccharide, which serves as an antigen and is useful for distinguishing the species of gram-negative bacteria. I mentioned that the O polysaccharide functions as an antigen. An antigen is any molecule or substance that is foreign to the human body and thus will elicit an immune response. Now you are looking at a more detailed image of LPS. At the base here, we have the lipid A, which is hydrophobic, which allows it to be embedded in the outer membrane. Here we have our core polysaccharide and the core polysaccharide provides stability. And extending outward from the core polysaccharide is the O polysaccharide, which functions as an antigen and is useful for helping us distinguish the different species of gram-negative bacteria. Now that we've talked about the three parts of LPS, let's talk about LPS as a whole. LPS as a whole adds rigidity to the cell wall of the gram-negative bacteria. LPS also provides the bacteria an extra layer of protection. It protects the bacteria from things that can harm it, like toxins, bile salts, and antibiotics. An antibiotic is any substance that can kill bacteria or inhibit the growth of bacteria. LPS is also called an endotoxin, and we consider LPS to be an endotoxin because of the lipid A portion of LPS. The lipid A portion of LPS is toxic, so when a bacteria cell dies, it ends up releasing the lipid A portion. In small amounts, this is fine because your immune cells can recognize that lipid A is a foreign substance and mount the proper immune response. However, in large quantities, this causes the immune system to overreact, leading to septic shock or critically low blood pressure, which can kill you. That's it for this video. I hope it helps. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share.